everybody. So we went and picked up the first half of the first pig. They're all slaughtered, and um, the guy went ahead and took off the hide for us and hung them. They're gutted and quartered. Quartered. No, halved. Halved. They're halved, but we brought home quarters because, yeah, he let us do that on our way out. Um, basically, I plan on picking up a half a day probably for a while until we, well, four days. Unless the guy is out of town, and then we'll take a day off. So we're just starting on the first quarter, and I thought I would include everybody in us chopping stuff apart. The nice thing is, there's a lot of fat. We can do all kinds of things with that fat. Make sausage, and lard, and whatever. Hi. All right, now right now, Jacob is working on cutting out what would be the pork chop. Um, we're not cutting the bone, obviously. So it's a loin. Right. So it's a loin chop. Which is, I believe, a proper name for it. That section of the pig is loin chop. This is the front quarter. Okay, I don't know if you can see. Let's see, this is the front quarter. The hind end will be coming in. It's narrower. So it'll probably be faster work. This part will have our ribs, part of the bacon from the stomach area. I should be pointing to kind of give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Over here in the stomach is where we're going to get our ribs and our bacon. Over here is, right now we're working on taking off some fat and making lean, boneless Skin loin chops. chops, pork chops. Oh, I know what I'm going to do with that front leg. Sausage, of course. Like, I keep forgetting. I want to cut a lot of it with sausage because I like sausage. I don't know if it's the best use of the meat, but I think the best use is whatever you like. True. In this spot, well, I should try. What do you think we'll do? Are we going to do lard? Uh, rendering lard, you mean? I make good pasties. Uh, do whatever you want. It's all that you're going to use in sausage. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, some of it render and use for baking pizzas and things, right? Yeah. But, no, not going to this. All right, that's the throat area. And as you can see, that lower section right there is another layer that you can turn into bacon. So, um, Jacob's just going to separate that section. We're going to work on it. I don't know what above that would make, if anything. Clearly some blood clots are still there, so I'm gonna get rid of anything with the blood on it. Okay, don't mind my counters and stuff. I have another project, as you can see, all the ingredients for making my dishwasher soap. It's on the counter. I had to collect it, I didn't have everything, so I had to go get some stuff. But here is what we'll make the bacon out of. This is the stomach. I separated the ribs from it. Um, so anyway, the ribs were part of that. I just cut them apart. I'm sure I didn't do it perfectly. This is my first time doing this job. Jacob's cutting it apart. This is the saw. This is the jowl bacon. I have to clean this up because it's dirty. And then figure out exactly what I'm supposed to cut off this bacon. He was hairy. Anyway, I'll do that. Okay, sorry for all the randomness. This was all the footage I got from butchering. 
I lost some footage as well as didn't turn the camera on as much as I wish I had. I got so, um, by the second half we were really getting a lot faster with our work. So, um, yeah, we didn't have as much time to be working on camera stuff. And I didn't want to be touching my camera with pork on my hands or gloves. Um, but things went really smooth after the second half. I felt like we were really getting it down and figuring out how to cut the parts and separating them. I, Jacob and Madeline were the ones who were mostly separating the parts while I was wrapping them up and doing some more of the detail work. So we made a quick team. But the first half took about six hours. The second half took three hours. So clearly we were getting the hang of it. Things went really well and I filled two freezers. So we have a lot more work to do. When I do thaw out parts, I'm going to be making more sausage and bacon. I'm going to smoke some hams, things like that. We're going to make our own smoker. So that's one thing we've got to do. So anyway, we got it figured out. I'm going to continue working on this stuff. But um, probably the videos will become more sporadic on the pork subject. As I will only be doing the pork stuff every now and then. We did make some sausage, so the next videos will be how to make your own sausage spice mixes because I didn't like the spice mix we bought from the butcher guy. It had MSG, and I don't really eat MSG, so anywho, um, I figured that out. And we made several delicious ones that I hope if you guys, even if you're just in a country where you can't buy sausage, you can only find ground pork, then you can easily make your own sausage. I guess that's it for now. Thanks for watching these silly random clips, and we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.